Hi everyone, so I wanted to hop on and do a review of my brand new 3D printer. I ordered this myself off of Amazon. It's the Creality Ender V3KE edition. Um, there was a good deal on Amazon and I've always wanted to try this brand of 3D printer, so I thought I would add it to my growing 3D printer collection, which is getting quite big now. This is my eighth 3D printer. And I have to say that I am really impressed with um, the features of this printer. I actually think that it might be my favorite printer when it comes to ease of use for a beginner 3D printer. Um, so just starting off with the pros, um, it was really easy to set up. It does require assembly. This part comes off and so does the um, uh, filament spool, um, the touch screen all comes disassembled. So you do have to assemble it, but it was super easy to assemble. And compared to some of the other assemble, assembly 3D printers that I've had, I thought the steps were super straightforward. Uh, the best part about this 3D printer, in my opinion, is the auto leveling process. I honestly couldn't believe it. So I plugged in this 3D printer, I uh, turned it on and it did the auto leveling process. I'm just gonna turn it here so you can see, and I'll just zoom in on this guy here. This is the CR Auto Touch that has that purple glow there. And that thing is auto leveling the printer. It's sensing exactly the distance to the plate and it goes and does a multi-step auto leveling process. I did absolutely nothing to level this printer. I literally pressed this button to automatically set up the printer and it auto leveled itself. I honestly couldn't believe it when my first print turned out absolutely perfect that I didn't need to even, you know, stick the paper under and feel the tension. I was super impressed with that auto leveling feature. So that was a huge, huge plus for me. And I think was what makes it such a great beginner 3D printer is that leveling is one of the most important processes to get your print turnout right. And if you don't have a good level, it's going to cause lots of frustration. So this um, auto leveling was amazing. This thing also does print fast. So it's up to 500 uh, millimeters per second, which is super fast and comparable to most of the new printers on the market. Um, so you'll be able to print pretty large objects pretty quickly, um, which is a great feature. Although to me, that's not the most important thing unless you're gonna be doing lots of high volume printing. Of course, you can use a whole range of materials. I mostly stick with PLA, but you can use ABS. You can even use TPU. Um, PETG with this printer um, and it was pretty affordable I mean it's definitely not the most um, budget-friendly 3d printer on the market but I've tried a few of those and honestly I think for the extra um, few hundred dollars one or two hundred dollars depending on what the deals are on Amazon that day um, I think this printer is worth it because it's just so much easier to use one more feature that I really liked is if you use their um, Creality um, software which you just download just you know when you get the printer it comes with the guide and you'll just download the slicing software um, it actually has a print over wi-fi feature so although there are two usb ports here on the edge of the um, touch screen which is handy if you want to put your file your 3d print file on the usb you can plug it in there but you don't even need to do that which is also a really great feature because on my two elegoo printers i've had issues with the usb um, ports like needing updates of firmware and that sort of thing which i was able to handle and it was fine but just the fact that you can print over wi-fi i think is another really nice feature for beginners so that just makes it easier to use um, honestly, the only cons I could think of for this printer was that it does require assembly, which, you know, is a little bit of a pain. Um, and if you're not the most, um, you know, uh, <clears throat> you know, I guess mechanically inclined per person, then maybe it's, um, it could be difficult to assemble, but it's honestly a really easy assembly process. I think most people that are interested in 3d printing probably have at least some basic assembly skills. And so I wouldn't see it as a big barrier the only other thing is that my printer came with the um, on the very back here there is a little um, switch you can see here so there's a switch between 230 volts and 115 volts and mine was set to 230 volts 
which um, I bought the printer in Canada and we use 115 volts. So I was surprised that it was set to the wrong voltage. And so the first few times I was trying to print it and it just kept automatically shutting off, I didn't realize it was on the wrong voltage. So um, I would just think that they should send printers that are being shipped to North America with the right voltage already pre-selected, but that's just a minor issue. So um, here's my latest print off the bed. It's got the flexible bed, which most printers have nowadays, but this is essential, I think, for a beginner. And so I printed this toy train track. This is one of my favorite things to 3D print. I've got, you know, young kids and they love their toy train tracks. And these things are expensive in the wood version. So your 3D printer creates a perfect print and this is super fast. Love this color, love the print, turned out great. Absolutely love this printer and definitely think you should add it to your list for the top uh, printers for uh, beginners. But even um, in more experienced 3D printers, um, 3D printing experts are gonna love this printer because it's packed with all the features as well. So definitely happy with this purchase um, and uh, definitely check it out.